ओम ज्ञान तिमृंद जानाजन शलाकया चक्षुरन्मल तस्म श्रीगुरव नम वंदेह श्रीगुर श्रीयुतपदकमल श्रीगुरून वैष्णवांश श्रीरूपाग्रजात सह गणरघुनाथन्वित तम सजीव साध्वत सवधूत पिजन सहित श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्रीराधाकृष्णपादान सह गणलिता श्री विशाखान्विता हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंध दीनबंध जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभान सुते देवी प्रणमा हरे प्रिय नमो महाबदान्याय कृष्णा प्रेम प्रदायने कृष्णाय कृष्णा चैतन्य गौरकृषे नम पंच तत्वात्मक भक्तस्वक भक्ता भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्तशक्ति श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवास गौरभक्त हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जन्माद्य से अन्वयादितरत चार्थ सुभिज्य स्वराट तेने ब्रह्म हृदय आदिकवे मुह्यूरय तेजो वारी निदा यथा विनिमय यसर्गो मृषा धामना स्वेन सदा निरस्तकुक सत्यम परम धीम नारायण नमस्कृत नरच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर स्वस्ति अस्तु विश्व खल प्रसीदता ध्यान तो भूता शिव मिथो धिया मन भद्रम व्रजता दधोक्षजे आवेशता नो मतिरप्य हेतुकी रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो टेन चैप्टर थर्टी वन वर्स नंबर फोर श्री सॉन्ग ऑफ द गोपीज टू मेक कृष्ण मैनिफेस्ट सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज वी ऑल्सो वॉन्ट दैट everybody in separation from krishna only thing is that gopis have love and we don't so we can at least read their prayers so in the previous one they said that krishna has in the previous verse has protected them from various calamities and therefore he should also protect them now from this suffering of separation 
and in the same vein they continue. न खलु गोपिकानंद नो भवान नखिल देहिना मंतरात्म दृक विखन शास्तितो विश्व गुप्तये सखे उदेवान सात्वताम कुले So now they are saying that you are not son of Yashoda. They are not even taking the name of Yashoda. Gopikanand. Says you don't belong to the gopis. Otherwise, how could you be so cruel? Coward people are very simple, straightforward, forward, and compassionate people. So you are Akhil Dehinam Antaratma Drik. So you are the imminent being of all living beings. And just as Paramatma remains indifferent to the suffering of the people, so you are also like that. And Vikhana Sarthito Vishnu Guptae Sakhayu Devan Satvatam Kule. So why have you appeared here on earth? Says because you were begged by Brahma for the protection of the world and therefore, O oh friend, you have appeared in the dynasty of the Satvatas. So they are saying like this, this Nakhalu can also be applied. Nakhalu Gopika Nandano Bhavan Nakhalu Akhil Dehina Mantarat Madrik Nakhalu Vikna Sarthito Vishwa Gupta Yudayvan So it can go everywhere like that depending on how you interpret the words then it will take a different meaning So they are saying that anyway you have appeared to protect the Vishwa and we are also in the Vishwa we are also part of the world, so you should protect us. And you have come in the Satvat Kula, in a high dynasty. So that's a royal dynasty, so you should protect. Because that is also the job of the kings. So Purushottam Prabhu, you have some comment. Question here. Here in the verse is uh, it is explained about previous verse about Agasura. And uh, as we know, Vallabhacharya and others do not accept this Agasura pastimes or Agasura Leela. Mm. So will they consider also this is also a prakshipta then? Or how do they justify it? Well, first of all, it is not Agasura is not mentioned by name. So, you can give another meaning. There is no word Aghasura there. It's translates. No, it translates, but the word Agha is not there. It's Vyala is there. Yeah. So, you can give some other meaning. But there is no other Vyala there. There is only one snake. No, but. Vyala can have other meaning, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> In Sanskrit, one word can have many meaning. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not a big problem. So we have to say, what do the translate Vyala is then? This Asura is there then? Yeah, we can say Vyala Rakshasad means some poisonous demon, dangerous demon. It can be anything. <laughs> No, that's not a big difficulty. Okay, <laughs> thank you. I well, can check how he translates. Anything else? So now, Sri Vishnu Chakrati, he comments. He says, I, Sashwad Asamiksha Bhashinyo, Gopalya, so Krishna says that you who always speak improper words, you cowherd ladies, what has happened to you? Stand there 
means don't talk. Says Sarva Anand Kando Nanda Nanda Nohan. Says, don't you know that I am the most blissful person, son of Nanda Maharaj? And you are talking all this that you are killing, I am killing, I am this and that. Stri Vada Pataki, that I am sinner, killer of the women. Vishwasta Ghati, I am a betrayer. I betrayed people's love. This is your conclusion about me. How amazing it is. So you, you cannot see my real beauty and putting unnecessarily blame on me for nothing. I have not killed any woman. The only woman I killed was Putna. And you should be happy that I did that. <laughs> Otherwise, I only love women. So, you are saying that I am a Stri Vada Pataki. Such a big word. And Vishwasta Ghati. That I am a betrayer. I break the trust of people. How is that? I give, I give protection to my devotees. I gave my word to Brahma. I came. If I give boon to somebody, then I never go against my word. But this is what you are speaking. So now, if this is your conclusion, then listen to me. Tadito nishritya rahasi kochi devam sthasyami yada janu madhya shakritapi maddarsmam na prarpachyate. So if this is what you think of me, then I will get out of this place and I will go and live in some solitary place where you will never find me in this life even once. <laughs> because what is the point? Satadeya bhishnoktim ashankya anutaptastam prasadetum stuvanti naiti So assuming that he may speak some harsh words like this they got worried and just to please him they speak this verse. Naiti. So Bhavan Gopika Nandanaha Khaluna Bhavati says don't think that you are just son of Nanda and Maharaj and Yashoda but you are Akhilantaratma Drik. You are the drashta, you are the antaryami, you are the sakshi, the witness of everyone's heart. So that's what you are, you are such a great person. And that's why we are praying to you. So don't limit yourself to only to Nanda Maharaj, to Yashoda. Because people limit themselves to their own family, they worry only about their own family and they don't care for others. But you are, you, you are an Akhilantarat Mudrik. You are in the heart of everyone, so you should take care of everybody. You are also in our heart, so you know our situation. Therefore, you should also take care of us. So Bhaguri Gargi Pranamashyadi Mukhad Ashrash Mama. So if Krishna says that how do you know this? Where did you learn this philosophy? Because gopis don't know that he is Paramatma. So he says, well we have heard lectures from Bhaguri Muni, Gargacharya, Pranamasi. They are always lecturing about how great you are and that you are Narayan, you are Paramatma, your creator, your this, your that. We have just heard it, so we repeat that. We, we have not seen anything like this, but we believe them because they are Aptapurushas. They are authorities, they are reliable people, and they have no reason to tell lies. So, Yatha Asman Prayeraya Si Tatha Brumahe Iti Yato Ma Kupya Prasida. Therefore, we are speaking because you are also in our, our heart. 
एंड यू आर द वन मत स्मृतिर ज्ञान अपोहन सर्वस्व चाम हृदय सन्निविष्ट कृष्ण सहज इन भगवदगीता आई मीन एवरी वन हार्ट एंड आई गिव रिकलेक्शन आई गिव ऑल्सो फॉर गेटफुलनेस सो डोंट ब्लेम अस इफ यू स्पोक द श्लोक आज द यू मस्ट हैव इंस्पायर्ड अस टू स्पीक लाइक दैट राइट because you are the one who have who are inspiring everyone you are the one who are giving thoughts you yourself say matta smritir gyanam apan so what is our flaw our defect in this so please don't be angry at us you should be happy with us because वि आर नॉट इंडिपेडेंट तविर्भाव कारण चुत वी ऑल्सो हर्ड दैट यू हैव अपियर्ड हियर वाई हैव यू अपियर्ड इफ यू आर अखिल अंतरात्मद्रिक इफ यू आर द सुपर सोल इन एवरी वन हार्ट देन वाई इज दैट यू हैव अपियर्ड नाउ हियर इन रज सई सज वी हैव यू हैव अपियर्ड हियर बिकॉज ऑफ विघ्नस ब्रह्मण बाय द प्रेयर्स ऑफ ब्रह्म विखन सार्थित विश्वगुप्त सवाई प्रेय टू यू एंड नॉट टू समबडी एल्स से बिकॉज ही इज विखन सार्ज ही गोज टू द रूट खनु अवधारण धातु टू डिग खनु मीन्स टू डिग इन खनित्र Kanitra means shovel, in which you dig. So Brahma digs, which means he goes to the root, and you are the root. Urdhamulam adha shaka shatha mahuramve. So therefore he went to the root and prayed that please help. And Krishna also says that he is the root of everything. अहम बीज प्रदर्पिता अहम सर्व प्रभु अहम आदि देवान मत सर्व प्रवर्तते सो मेन प्लेसेस ऑल दिस सात्वराजस्तम भाव स्ने ऑल कम फ्रॉम मी सदर फॉर ब्रह्मा प्रे टू यू वाई डिड ही प्रे टू यू विश्वपालना है प्रार्थित सन दैट ही वॉन्टेड दैट यू गुड यू वन protect the world because he is the creator and you are the protector so when problems come things are generally a good management system means you don't have to interfere much in it and things happen without difficulty but sometimes some problems come some obstacles some snags then management comes into action So you are the manager, Vishnu Shakti Rhi Palani. So the power of Vishnu is to manage, to protect, to maintain. So therefore, he prayed to you for Vishnu Palana, and you appeared in Satvatam Yadu Nam Kule. You many appeared in Yadu Dynasty. So does it mean that they know that he is son of Vasudev? How did Gopi knew that? So Garga Chari also said that sometimes he was also born like that, right? That sometimes he is known as son of Vasudev, or mm-hmm. Nanda Maharaj also comes in Yadu dynasty. There was a king; his name was Devmida in Mathura. and he had two wives one was kshatriya other was vaishya so from kshatriya was born sursena and from the vaishya was born parjanya so parjanya became cowherd and parjanya gave birth to five sons nanda upananda sunanda nandana mahananda and sursena is father of vasudev from whom krishna was born in mathura and here 
born from Yashoda, so no, Nanda Maharaj also comes in Yadu dynasty. So therefore it says Sattvata Mukulai. Udayivan Sri Yashoda Garbhodaya Shailad Avir Bhuta. So they are saying that Udayivan means you did not take birth, you manifested. Udaya means to rise like the sun rises, comes up. So as if the womb of Yashoda is like the mountain in east there is supposed to be Udayachala from where the sun rises and in the west there is a mountain called Astachala Astachalangate means sun goes down the mountain so nanu evam chet jani dhve tat kimiti ruksham so he says if you know so much about me and how great I am then why are you talking all these critical words about me? That I'm killer, I'm stealing and I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Why do you speak like this? So then they say, hey Sakhe, because you are our friend. We are not worshipping you. You are friendly with us. Tvayaeva Sakhyara Sindhau Vayam Nimajjita says because you alone have drowned us in your friendship, the ocean of your friendship. So we are all your friends, therefore we talk like this. Iti paramrishya vishyam palayan vishwa madhvarti vartini rasmanapi palaya kripya So knowing this you know that you have come for Vishwagupta, for protecting the world and we are also part of that. Therefore you should also protect us. This is the meaning. Or they give another meaning. Yadva Svapresi nameva dukkham drashtum nri deva triyagadisu madhya kopi nasmart. He says that among human beings, among devas, among animals, there is nobody who can see their beloveds in suffering. If somebody's wife, somebody's girlfriend is suffering, they will do something. And you are the only one that you are not doing anything. And you are actually making us suffer. So how is this possible? Therefore you are not son of Gopika. Now they give another meaning. It is impossible that you are son of Yashoda. Because how can Yasoda give birth to a cruel son like him? She is so kind and compassionate. And you are such a harsh person. <laughs> so Gopikaya Sri Yasodaya Paradukha Laveya Pi Drut Chittaya Stasya Kukshav Tom Najato. He says Yasoda is so soft hearted that if she sees someone suffering, her heart will melt immediately and she would do something to protect, to help, to solve the problem. So this is impossible that you are born from the womb of Yashwada. That is therefore not Khalu. Khalu is also used when you want to stress something, when you are very sure of something. So na Khalu Gopika Nandano Bhavan. But they are saying Bhavan, which is very respectable in Sanskrit. That your honorable self, like you speak in English, yeah? like your honorable self, your good self, when you want to speak with respect to somebody, your honor. So you are not born from Yashoda, that is for sure. So otherwise that will bring disgrace to your mother. Yeah, that's what you are doing. So we don't want to bring disgrace to Yashoda Maya. 
therefore we write you off that you are not her son so who am i then he says tat kuksha rekasya api lakshanasya tvai anuplambhat he says we don't see any symptom in you which match with her qualities means being her son there is nothing which matches she is very simple straight forward and compassionate you are very cunning and running here and there stealing telling lies this is impossible so tarhi ko hum then who am i he says well you are tvam sarva pranina antaryami i think you are the parmatma the supreme self of all living beings so how is that he says because saiva jivanam dukham pashyan api tadanta sukham vasti that he sees everyone suffering but he stands there happily inside doesn't do anything <laughs> He sees the whole world is on fire, but he is just cool. Makes no difference to him. So that is the quality in you, not not your shyness. So yeah, therefore, that's what you are. Udasin sromane stavatra avir bhave pi karnam na jani, and you are that. Top most of all those people who are indifferent, because among among those who are indifferent, also there are categories. Some people are indifferent, but there is a limit of their indifference. Under very severe pain or suffering of others, they may also take interest. But you are so cruel, so hard-hearted, so indif not cruel, but so indifferent that it doesn't matter. If the whole world goes to hell, you don't care. So that is only antaryami. No one else can do that. So you are the topmost of all those who are indifferent. Like you see, sometimes some accident happens on the road. People are walking by. They don't care. They are like Paramatma. <laughs> yes. I say, well, these things keep happening. You know. It's in their karma. <laughs> so he says, therefore, we don't even know why you have appeared here on earth. What is your purpose? <laughs> Because it doesn't help anybody. <laughs> Whether you are inside or you are outside, what difference does it make? If some nice, compassionate per- person takes birth, that is helpful to the society. But you are not going to help anybody. So we don't know that why you have come here. So then they say they are making conjecture. He says, "Vikhna sa Brahmana, sa Srishti, sa Srishti, Vridhi, ma Bhipsuna, Vishva Guptae, Vishvasmin, Jagati Atra, Guptae, Tvam Prarthitam." He says, "You have appeared here on earth on the request of Brahma." Why did he refer to us? Vishva Gupta. So Gupta Dhatu has meaning to protect. It also means to hide, to keep something as a secret. So he, you came here. Brahma told you that you come and you hide here in the world, so that nobody will pray to you, and then his creation will continue. So he says, "You have not come to protect, but to hide in this world." Jagti yatra gupta etvam prarthita. He prayed to you that please come, leave your place, and hide here, because people come to you to beg this, help me this, help with that. So you just leave your own place and come and hide here. So that's what you are doing. You are hiding here. तो भक्तिया जीवा मुच्यंते बिकॉज बाई डूइंग भक्ति टू यू पीपल बिकम लिबरेटेड एंड ब्रह्मा जर नॉट वर्ल्ड बिकॉज इफ पीपल गेट लिबरेटेड हिज क्रिएशन विल नॉट प्रॉस्पर 
He wants that a lot of people are, this material world remains filled with people. So he, that's his purpose. But if they do bhakti to you, then they will get liberated, then his world will become empty. So he told you, please come and hide here. <laughs> so therefore you are hiding as a cowherd boy. <laughs> and nobody knows that you are God. So now to whom are they going to pray? Tateva me srishti vridhir bhavitri. He says, then only my creation will increase. Iti brahma vanchita siddhi artham. So therefore to satisfy brahma, then you are doing all these things. What are you doing? You are acting against dharma. Pardara, pardravya, chaurya, matsarya, hinsa, dambadikam, svapratikulam, dharma, svagopnarka. So you are, as Ishwara, you are a very dharmic person. Because you are the propagator of dharma, dharma sanstapnartha. But now what you are doing, you are doing things against dharma, so nobody will recognize you. That's how you are hiding. Because anyone who sees you, they cannot... Brahma was also confused himself. Right? We saw that. that is he God? Look, he is putting food on his left hand and eating. How can he be God? So you are so good at hiding that you can even confuse Brahma himself on whose prayer you appeared here. So this is what you are doing. You are having relationship with others' women. You are stealing others' wealth, butter, etc. You are very jealous and you are very cruel because you are killing all the women. And you are very hypocritical. So these are all qualities which are against dharma and therefore no one will recognize that you are actually the Supreme Person. Which is true. Many people say like this, how can this be God is stealing, is dancing with girls, is this. It's not possible that he can be God. Either. So, svapratikulam dharmam svagopanartham angi karishyam. So you are doing this to hide your personality. So then you can stay here. Dustyajam svadharmam audasinyam cha ajaha deva satvatam kule udayivan. So, but you are doing all these things, but you have not given up your original nature of being indifferent. That you have not given up, because that is your true nature. And nature is very difficult to transcend. Dustyaja. So, bhavo ati durati krama. So, sarva svabhava sarva mūrghani vartarati. You can do all kinds of things, but your svabhava will remain, whatever is that. So, Nigraham kim karishyati, prakriti miyanti bhūtāni, sadrisham cheshte sasya prakriti rgyānvānapi. So you have appeared in the family of the sattvatas, but you are doing many other things to, pr to keep your personality hidden, but you have not given up your nature of indifference, and that's why you are acting like this. Sakhe eti pardara grahana deva smakam sakha piya bhuriti bhava And we are calling you sakha because you also have relationship with other women or other girls. So that's why you have become our friend. Otherwise, how would you become our friend? It will not be possible. So this is the end of this commentary. Sandeep ji, you have some question? Yes, Babaji Maharaj. Hmm. So I just uh, wanted to know like this, what is the meaning of the word Vignas? So how is it uh, signifying Brahman? No, I said it becomes from the root Khan. Khan means, Khanan, you know, Khanan? To dig. Khanan means shaking or something? To dig. To dig, Khanan, okay. You heard of Khanan Mafia? 
here. Yes, 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 yes. The minds. Yes. <laughs> Both the minds. So he is he is called Vikhanasa because he digs goes to the root of the world of shastra of knowledge. That's why he is called Vikhanasa. So another uh, question I had was about this uh, Gupta. Hmm. So like uh, you said Guptatu, but uh, one Dhatu can uh, signify two words which are not even Prayavachi, like this hidden and uh, yes. protection. Yeah, Dhatu can have many meanings okay. and very, many different meanings. Just like Hri Dhatu, you know, with Upsarga, so many different meanings. You have Ahar, Vihar, Prahar, Samhar, Upahar, Pratihar. Is one dhatu, but all the meanings are different. So, but dhatus, original dhatus also have different meanings. It's like yesterday the word natha came, surat natha. So natha means to beg, natha means to be controller, natha means to be sick. Ashwari uptap natha also means to bless or to desire. So many also to control so various meanings can come yeah. could you explain how the or how Krishna displayed the quality of Matsarya they accused him of being um, jealous Matsarya mm. well he is troubling them they were happy, so he put them into trouble. Jealousy, you create trouble for others. Okay, so their thought is that he he doesn't tolerate their happiness and therefore puts yeah. them into trouble. That's why he's troubling us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and this, um, could you maybe explain the word an Sarva Ananda Kanda? Kanda means something like root? Means I am the source of everyone's happiness. Kanda oh. means root, source. Prasottamji. Yes, I checked the two commentaries. The Vodini says Sardala, Sarpa Kaliya, Sudarshanadaya. But then Sukodini Sar which says Vyala means Agasur and Mal Prabhu Dini also says Vyala Rakshasa Agasura. Okay. So then they are accepting. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Subodhini itself doesn't accept its uh, saying Sarpa. Yeah. Because there was also another another snake, I think Nanda Maharaj was caught by a snake once. Is there not? It was a snake. Hmm? No, Nanda Maharaj, was he not caught by, yes. by a snake? Yeah, his feet was caught by that and then Krishna kicked it something, become a dev or something. He was. Yeah. Okay, so let's do one more sloka. It's not very big commentary for that. Krishna Chakrati is not writing much. So, Virachita Bhayam Vishnu Dhuriyate Charanami Yusham Sanskriter Bhayat Karasaro Ruham Kanta Kamadam Sirshidhehina Sri Karagraham. So gopis are now praying that Vishnu Dhuriya, Virachita Bhayam, Te Charanam, Yusham, Sanskriter Bhavat. So Bhayat, Sanskriter Bhayat, Charanam, Yusham, Abhayam, Virachita. That anyone who comes and takes shelter of your feet out of fear of material world, you make him fearless. And Karasoro Ruham Kante, so the other address, so the first one is Vishnu Dhuriya, the best of the 
Vrishni is and Kanta means our lover. So Karasaro Ruham Kamdam Sirsi Dehina. So they are begging him that you please put your lotus hand which holds the hands of Lakshmi, which gives or fulfills the desires of people, that hand put on our head. So Krishna's hand is called here as Kamadama, means which blesses people, whatever is their desire, and it is fragrant and cool and beautiful like lotus and Sri Karagraham. So this is very unusual. You said that you hold on Lakshmi's hand in your hand. Srikara. Srikara is also a popular name. So Nanu Bho Priya Bhashanya Yusmakam Prane Kopokti Piyush Panartham Eva Antarhitam. So now Krishna says that, O oh gopis, you speak very sweet words and only to drink the nectar of your angry words out of love, I disappeared. I wanted to hear how you speak. Tadaduna labdha vishto asmi yatheshtam varam branata Now, my wish has been fulfilled by you because you are speaking like that. So I am pleased, I am happy and therefore ask me some boon. So as if they heard Krishna saying this, then they speak because they are asking for the boon. Sirsidhehina Sri Karagraham Let put your lotus hand on our head. Satat prasadoktim sambhavya saswasam prithak prithak abhishtam prarthyante. So, assuming that Krishna is pleased and he wants to bless us, so with this trust they separately beg or pray to him in the next four slokas beginning with this one. He Vrishni Dhurya Nijakula Kamala Prabhakara. So Vrishni Dhurya means the support, the, the center of Vrishni dynasty. So he translates this as the sun which makes the lotus like dynasty of Vrishni's bloom. Tvam Prapanna, we are surrendered to you. Tam Kamam Dyati Khandayati Iti, Tachesa Bhangya Kamam Dadadapi. So your hand is called Kamadam, and again Kamadam can have doom, two meaning. One is which destroys the Kama, Kama in the sense of material desires, material lust, Kama Esha, Krodha Esha. Rajagun Samud Bhava. So your hand is destroyer of that. So there are four Purusharthas Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. So you give all, but you can destroy Kama, material Kama, and bless with other things. Or Kama means love, and therefore Kamada means that you are the giver of love your hand by the blessings. So that's another meaning, Kamadam. Necha atra tasya ashakti riti vachyam. So somebody says that, how do you know that he has such power? So he says, do not doubt at all the power of his hand because he is very 
powerful and for that they are saying that those who come and take shelter of your feet then you release them from this bondage of the material world yata sanshritair bhayat charanam eusham prapannanam jananam virachitam abhayam yena tat so you have created fearlessness to those who are surrendered to your feet and who are fearing from the material world so anyone who takes shelter of krishna's feet prapanno tam asmi ti vachar vartate abhayam sar bhute bheda dami etam vratam mama so anyone who comes and says even once to me that i am your surrendered soul then i give him fearlessness in bhagavad gita also he says also sarv dharman paritajya mam ekam shanam braja so he says ma sucha do not lament do not fear so he is called abhacharan means one who takes shelter of his feet becomes fearless nothing can disturb such a person so that is the power of his feet so then what is what can be said about the power of his hands so yena sansar bhayad api rakshitum sakyate tasya kama bhayad rakshane ka khalu aya saiti bhava so therefore one who can give protection from the fear of the world then what is the doubt that he will protect from the fear of the kam so in the material world kama is not considered as fearful nobody is fearing kama right so to fear from kama you have to have some viveka some some intelligence <laughs> otherwise tamasic people are not fearing kama who fears kama people are happy with the kama <laughs> so if you say like this people are fearing kama people they will think what what is this so only in bhagavad gita krishna is telling that this is a big enemy mahasano mahapapma vidhyenam he vairanam this is your enemy and it is a big eater it, it is never satisfied desires are never satisfied they are all the time multiplying and you mahapapma it is a great sinner because people do all types of sinful activities to fulfill their desires and it is sitting in all the right places indriyani mano buddhi rasya udhas adhisthanam uchyate so it is in the senses it is in the mind it is in the buddhi where you make your decisions so your decisions are already made about kama and then they are further polluted by kama so that is the situation with kama so then, but this kama goes away if one takes shelter of krishna's feet so therefore they are saying kam bhayad rakshane ka khalu aya se iti bhava so now krishna is also a very intelligent he drinks cow's milk and eats cow butter So he says, then why are you saying I should put my hand on your head? Nanu tarhi vo vaksasu dadhami tatreva mama pi dhitsa vartate. So he says, then why are you saying put your hand on our head? I should put it on your breast because that's where the kama is. <laughs> And I also desire that. So he says, you are not using your brain. You're asking to put the hand on the head. It will become oily. 
सो तत्र नाइति हाउ सो देन द गोपी से नो 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 नॉट देयर व्हाई से श्री कराग्रहम इस इधर ये कमेंटेटर साइड टू थिंक अबाउट एवरी वर्ड इन द स्लोका एंड हाउ दे कम अप विद डिफरेंट ideas because the word used here is sri karagraham how to how to fit this word here means your hand which holds the hand of sri basically all it means is that you are holding the hand of sri in your hand because she is your wife you know, like the husband holds the hand of the wife that's all it means but they are not take he is not taking that meaning that's too simple He says, Shriya Lakshmiya Karabhyam Grahanam Tad Dharanartham Yasya Tad Vakshashi Kardhitsayam Yatha Lakshmiya Variyate Tad Hai Vasma Bhirapi Tad Varniyam So they give the meaning that it is your hand which is held by Lakshmi in her hand. Not that you are holding Lakshmi's hand in your hand, but Lakshmi is holding your hand in a, her hands and why is she is doing it because you wanted to put your hand on her breast and she caught it <laughs> and therefore you are called shrikara your name is shrikara for this reason shrikara graham and just as she stopped you from doing it we are also like that After all, we are also Lakshmi of the Vraja. Lakshmi Shashir Satsam Brahm Sevya Manam Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamham Bhajam So we have taken the clue from her and therefore you just put it on our hand. So that is, <laughs> he makes the meaning. Satadvarniya Mevaiti So therefore your hand has to be stopped from going anywhere else except on our head. So this is the commentary on verse number 4, 5. So any questions on this? can go to the next one savraj janarti han virayo shitam nijjana smaya dhvansana smita bhaj sakhe bhavat kinkri smano jal ruhaninam charu darshaya so now this is the next prayer because the four slokas they are making prayers to him they are asking so vraja jana arti han that this is an address to him that you are the dispeller of the distress of the people of vraja which already they spoke that how you protect us again and again and we are your hero Yoshitam Nijajana Smaya Dhansana Smita So you have a very beautiful smile and this smile is so wonderful that the pride which your people may have because of their good fortune you destroy that with your smile their pride Nijjana Smaya Dhansana Smita And Bhaja Sakhe Bhavat Kinkari Smano We are your servants So therefore you should do service to us Bhaja also means Bhaja can have many meaning Means accept us Can mean worship us Do seva to us The original meaning of Bhaja is to do seva so bhaja sakhe because why you should do seva to us because you are our friend again they are calling him a sakha bhavat kinkri but we are your servants so servants are asking the master to do seva 
सुषमा नो जल रोहाननम चारु दर्शे एंड प्लीज शो योर ब्यूटीफुल लोटस लाइक फेस टू अस समसेन प्रेम सो प्रीवियस वन वाज पुट योर हैंड ऑन आवर हेड सो इफ यू डोंट वांट टू डू दैट देन जस्ट शो योर फेस टू अस यू आर हाइडिंग समवेयर सो प्लीज कम आउट एंड बिकम मैनिफेस्ट in front of us you if you think that we have some pride so our pride is already destroyed and it is especially destroyed by your smile you are very heroic person so you can dispel our suffering so here they are not being warm here they are being straight forward as we saw earlier so aprahu yoshitam madhye ye vrajjana stesha marti kandarp shara prahara janitam hanti iti tatha tena devyadinam api ananya yoshitam tam na harasi so is specifically you destroy the <coughs> distress of women among the vrajvasis there may be many other women but among them the women of vraja you destroy their suffering what is that suffering that suffering which comes because of the attack of the arrow of cupid so he says this is not available even to the wives of the devas it's only available here इन व्रज टू अस् यदक्षते व्योमयान वनिता कस्मल ययुर अपस्मृत निव्या दिस विल कम लेटर ऑन द वेणुगीत दर इज अ सॉन्ग ऑफ फ्लूट वेर इट इज डिस्क्राइब हाउ द वाइस ऑफ द देवाज वेन द हर्ट द फ्लूट सिचुएटेड इन देर एरोप्लेन्स इन द स्काय दे लॉस देर सेंस एंड देर स्कर्ट्स बिकेम लूज सो हे वीर दुर्वार मार संप्रहार महाजिष्णु सो यू आर हीरो वाई बिकॉज यू आर द पर्सन हु यू आर विक्टोरियस ओवर द अटैक ऑफ द क्यूपिन विच इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू कंटेन मीन्स द अटैक ऑफ द क्यूपिट कम नो बडी कैन कंट्रोल दैट बट यू कैन डू दैट किंच अस्माक सौभाग्योत्थम गर्व तदुत्थम वाम्यलक्षण मानमी न सहसे आओ एंड यू डू नॉट टॉलरेट द प्राइड विच कम्स इन अस बिकॉज ऑफ आर ओन गुड फॉर्च्यून और द सेल्फ कंसीट विच कम्स बिकॉज ऑफ आर बीइंग योर गर्लफ्रेंड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द सेल्फ कंसीट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बीइंग वाम्य so you do not tolerate that but you destroy this simply by your smile so nijjananam smaya dhansnam mana nasukam smitam api yasya so your smile is the destroyer of the self conceit nanu varam shigram vrunuta so then krishna says please ask for your broom quickly don't go around and beating the bush <laughs> just tell what you want people come and they sing all these panjairic praises but they are making their bhumika their introduction but what they want just say that you know so krishna says there is no need for all this just say what you want to ask so then they say that do seva to us भवत किंक्री अस्मान भज परिचर वी आर योर सर्वेंट्स सो डू सर्विस टू अस स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड सो नाउ कृष्ण गॉट कन्फ्यूज नेवर हर्ड दिस बिफोर पीपल आर आस्किंग फॉर सेवा देर दे कम एंड देर सिंग टू सेवा टू अस सो इस वॉट यदि मत किंकर्य यूय तदा मं स्वपरिचरण किमित आज्ञाप्यध्यवेत 
So he says, if you are my servants, then how is that you are ordering me to do service to you? <laughs> this doesn't make sense. He says, oh, because you are our friend. <laughs> yes, okay. So then Krishna says, okay, accepted. So he, he, you say you are servants, but then you are friends. <laughs> So then what service I have to do? Tarhi bhutaha brutaha kim va paricharnam. So he says not very hard service. Just show your face to us. So Jal Ruhanunam Charu Darshaya. Show us your beautiful lotus like face. That's the only seva we want. Nothing more. So they don't want any service from him, but they want to do service. Therefore, they are speaking like that. So, this is the end of this commentary. Any more questions? Parichanani here, Baba, means seva then, basically, right? Yes. That's why Paricharika means sevak. Paricharya is another word for seva then. Yes. Because you have to move around, pari means around and charya means to walk yes. around. Could you maybe please explain in what kind of mental state these speakers here are? Because it seems they are a bit, um, it's some kind of, you know, moha, some kind of confusion they are in because it doesn't seem so coherent. No, they are not in moha or anything, but it's just that they want to see him. They are in mood of separation and they are, they are lovers of Krishna. So in separation they are speaking like this out of love. Basically they are calling for him and remembering you are like this, you are like that, where are you, why don't you come? And that's what they are doing. In these, in this kind of, um, how to say, like not so straightforward way of saying things, or not so easy to follow logic. Um, this is just a characteristic of their, of their love. Yeah, that they don't express things uh, so openly and so directly and in these indirect roundabout ways. And we are just yeah, and love has got many want. sides to it. That's why Krishna says that I want to hear your words of like pranaya kop means anger out of love. So that's how they are coming. Because they are saying oh, he loves us so much, we love him so much, why has he disappeared? And then why he left even Radha alone? So making all these conjectures different ways. How can you do this to us? It's all out of love, love only. So they say you are, we are your kinkri, then we are saying sakha. So, bhaj sakhe bhavat kinkari. It's all mixture. It's coming. Is this some kind of playfulness or are they wavering? Or are they confused? Or that they say this, you know, we are Kingari and then we are Sakha? No, because they are both. You see, in love the humility also comes. These are all various bhavas which manifest out of love. Love is not just steady state one way, it's not Brahman realization. So various, various feelings, emotions come up and down. It's not stable. Sometimes mind becomes very humble if they go in danya. Sometimes some anger comes, sometimes sadness comes, sometimes fear comes, sometimes anxiety comes, pride comes. All these feelings come. So they are all coming out like that.
Yes. Uh, Babaji, there was a reference to Krishna's smile destroys pride of his associates. Uh, devo- so I, I was wondering, how does Krishna's smile destroy pride? Because it is so bewitching. That you become attracted, then, then your pride is gone. Because proud person is proud. So when you see him smiling, then it's so enchanting. That pride is demolished. Okay. Babaji, besides uh, the verses from Srimad Bhagavatam, which other commentary are you referring to? What is that? Besides the verses from Srimad Bhagavatam, another uh, few Sanskrit verses you are discussing, where is it from? Whose commentary are those? Vishnath Chakravarti Thakur. That's what we have been reading. Hmm. 